Hello friends, welcome to a new video about uh, relationship between the class diagram. So in this video, we'll be covering different types of uh, relationships uh, within the classes that is association, inheritance, or uh, realization, dependency, aggregation, and composition. And uh, we'll try to understand this in the EA approach. So a basic knowledge about this uh, different types of things should be required to understand this uh, video. For that, uh, you, have, you can go through this uh, wiki page of uh, Clash diagram. There are uh, there is uh, everything explained uh, here. What is the difference uh, between them? So main idea you have to understand this aggregation, association, and composition is a has a and uh, other two, which is the realization and the inheritance is a is a is a type of example. And uh, the difference between uh, composition and aggregation is that when a container is destroyed, the contents are also destroyed. And when the container is destroyed, the content is not destroyed in aggregation. So this you can understand using a simple example of this uh, university and uh, departments. So if uh, un uh, university class itself is destroyed, there is no meaning of the uh, class of de uh, departments existing. So the if you know uh, so that is the meaning of uh, this uh, container is destroyed the contents are also destroyed similarly we are in the aggregation a professor and student so if a professor class is uh, destroyed there is no need for the student class to destroy that's what they are trying to explain with this uh, line so you know if you have understood this basic thing uh, the other things are uh, inheritance and uh, this uh, realization inheritance is uh, like uh, is a relationship that also they have explained through the simple example of a person and student. A student is a person and a prefer is also a uh, student and uh, those uh, member variables and member functions can be accessed in student and professor class also. So that's what they want to explain here. And other thing is uh, realization. Realization if you are programming to interface, that time you will be having an interface instead of a class or a that is a pure abstract class. So that time you will be the same concept is uh, called as realization or implementation like in java how you write the uh, class a implements class b so and the other thing is called uh, between the, uh, uh, be, uh, the between the relation they are calling it dependency that is uh, if two classes are dependent on each other that is um, uh, a class a depends on class b that is any change in class b will affect uh, class a that is called as uh, dependency here there are different types of dependencies also that also will cover so main, main thing in association is uh, that it can be bidirectional or uh, uh, unidirectional or reflexive so that uh, that is uh, this example is here person a person and magazine they have explained so here uh, a person can have a list of uh, magazine uh, subscribe magazine and uh, even the magazine can have list of each magazine can have a list of uh, persons who have subscribed to it and whatever you are seeing is zero to start this is a multiplicity that a person can have the zero to n number of magazine subscribed and a magazine can have zero to n number of uh, person subscribed so both both the classes there will be member variable like, like list of persons within the uh, magazine and uh, list of magazines subscribed within a person also in there as their member variable so that uh, that association they want to explain it as bidirectional so most of the things are explained uh, uh, in this uh, wiki page so i recommend first going going through this uh, wiki page i'll be posting it in my description also first you, you can go through this once uh, thoroughly then uh, we'll move uh, you can move on to the how to approach this and understand in ea so in uh, enterprise architect why this approach is required like it will help you to understand uh, what the code might look like or you're trying to auto generate certain code so how to do that i'll be explaining it uh, here so that was a, pre, a brief introduction I gave you to get the basic idea. So how to do it in uh, EA, I will be explaining it here. So I won't be using any specific examples because uh, once you try to use specific examples, uh, it will become difficult to, if you are cracking interviews because uh, once you try to put it into example, there might be numerous doubts or ambiguity why this is happening. So I recommend uh, you to understand it through uh, class wise means a class a class b or class one class two that approach only i'll be using here so to create here you have to go to model and uh, add using a model wing wizard you have to click here so once you click here you have to select a uh, starter class diagram so once you create patterns here so there will be one standard example so that is generated for you that is class a is associated with class b let's uh, delete the, this two example and uh, try to do everything from the scratch so let's start off with uh, class 1 and uh, 
class 2 first uh, we'll try to do associate you can see here class relationship different types of example are there i will try to explain uh, how this maps to this arrow whatever you are seeing in this wiki page right that i will try to map it so first is associate so class 1 is associated to class 2 now you will be thinking why this uh, arrow is not coming so uh, in the association that you can uh, go and uh, set uh, in this uh, advanced properties you can change the directional that is source to destination or destination to source or bidirectional which i explained right both uh, uh, class 1 member variable can be in uh, class 2 and the class 2's member variable can be used in class 1 so we'll use source to destination that class 1 is associated with class 2 so this is our first example so similarly we'll drop in uh, different classes and try out all the example and generate the code so that you can better understand so next is uh, we'll use uh, composition class 3 is composed of class 4 so this is uh, the second example so the, this arrow is same actually composition the same arrow in enterprise architect also they are using the same kind of arrow so next option is um, class 5 and uh, class 6 so next we will use uh, uh, aggregation So aggregation is also done. So next, uh, now the, these three types we have uh, covered. So next one is uh, for the class level, uh, class level uh, relationship uh, that is uh, inheritance and uh, implementation. That two examples also we'll see. So realization is between two classes. So class seven and class eight. Let's have in uh, here. This is the generalized, you know, they say it as generalized, whatever is inheritance you are seeing, right? This, uh, they say it as uh, generalized in enterprise architect. So once if you select uh, generalize, the same uh, style of arrow is used there also. Next is uh, realization. Once you are using realization, what I mean, the other class has to be an interface or a uh, pure abstract class. That uh, option you can select here here interface you have to select instead of class you have to select an interface you will get an uh, interface here so next you have to do realize here between the two classes so this is the same example uh, same kind of arrow they are also using that is the dotted uh, with a uh, full triangle arrow now, now last one is left is dependency so the dependency is the different type is there so they were uh, in the enterprise architect they mention it as a template binding so that also we try it out so class 11, uh, 10 and 11 will be using for that uh, option. So there is a template binding. There are different types of dependency I explained, right? Here by default, you are getting bind that option. This binding or everything, you can change it in uh, going and change the constants here and uh, figure out uh, what are different types of uh, dependencies you want. That is uh, the class 11 uh, object might be used in uh, class uh, 10 that is the relationship so so the, you might see now there is one more option called here uh, associate class let's figure out that also what it is that is uh, like uh, is new uh, use case uh, added in the association class that allows in a uh, class within uh, already within relationship so that example also i'll show you so there will be one more class no to draw an association class between them automatically with an arrow one more dependent uh, dependency class 14 would have automatically come so class 12 uh, and 13 will have a dependency uh, means uh, association with the class 14 by default now you cannot so know what is the special law uh, here in ea you cannot if you try to delete this thing the whole the uh, even the relationship goes off so that's why this uh, this thing is uh, 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 here uh, used so it will allow you to create automatically the dependency here with the relationship so these are the different types of options that is allow, allowed uh, maximum in the this thing so I have covered I have covered everything here you can see all the types I have covered so this is the thing I am arranging it uh, neatly so that's it
so you can see all the different types of relationship association aggregation composition uh, realization means uh, they call it as a real, real realize but that is inheritance and implementation the implementation is via interface uh, or uh, generalize generalize is in, uh, inheritance and uh, realize is simply uh, interface and there is dependency here they, it is called as uh, binding dependency and the other thing is called as um, this is an associate class this extra this is extra means it's an overhead of uh, association only but uh, they have created a special use case for us so uh, how to generate this code you have to click on develop option and uh, hit generate and hit generate all so that all the classes get generated so you have to give the directory to which it has to be generated so i'm giving one uh, directory and hit uh, it will automatically everything would be selected if you just generate automatically you can see all the classes and interfaces code is getting generated in java you can change the even the language also now that i have explained in one more other video so i'll be explaining it now in java so let's move on to the code so now other code is generated so we'll move on first one is association class one had an association with class two that's why you can see it has created a uh, member variable of class 2 this uh, uh, this uh, public this all things actually you can configure there if you leave it default it will come as public so now let's move on then class 2 will be just a uh, uh, class 2 because uh, class 1 is uh, having an association with class 2 next we'll move on to class actually class 4 because class 4 uh, class uh, class 4 uh, uh, has an uh, as in composition with class 3 so class 3 is included in the class 4 so you can see same thing uh, this you cannot make out the difference what exactly that uh, aggregation and uh, difference because both will have included uh, member variable or maybe here or inside the member variable and whether it is destructing it depends upon the specific example similarly you can see in class 6 also class 5 would be included as uh, default so this also you cannot make out the actual uh, difference of uh, this association or aggregation so this is a basic thing but once you move on to class uh, 7 here you can see class 7 extends class 8 that is inheritance so you can see the, what we have drawn also see class 7 inherits class 8 so 8 is the base class and uh, class 7 is the J class so that is the thing so other difference you can make out in class 9 also this is an interface so it comes and word implements automatically populates the word implements and similarly now let's move on to other thing uh, is dependency so dependency can be any type of dependency so the tool does not uh, do any kind of uh, does not add anything because it can be used in a member function or those things those details once you add in it would have been populated here so now let's move on to association class where uh, uh, association class 14 so there you can see 14th class has an association between uh, class 12 and 13 so it has uh, included these two member variables here to sh uh, show that okay class 14 is dependent on that thing and you can see in uh, this is the interface class this is an empty interface class which we have added so other things you can play around like oh, you can think of, of adding member variables everything here so that thing you can right, right click and uh, add the member member variables here so you have to go to properties Ah, yes you have to go to features and try, click on attributes then you will get this uh, window there you can add an id and operations such as uh, get id so those things gets populated here that private member variable or plus what is the return type those things all you can configure and also uh, regenerate uh, uh, you can regenerate uh, one single element also you can click on this thing and uh, generate the selected so class one would be created so you can see go back to our class one see whether it is generated yes it has generated you can see that int id and uh, get id gets populated automatically so this will save a lot of time if your if your design is very proper so once if design is if all the design is proper you can draw the class diagram directly and generate most of the code uh, using this technique so hope this uh, helps you in uh,
uh, work today and also cracking inter interviews because uh, I also prefer giving uh, this kind of an example to the interviewer and writing the code than rather giving uh, specific examples like how they have mentioned here to student teacher those kind of uh, examples I, uh, I also prefer not to give and uh, try to understand the concept of using uh, this uh, generic classes and map it with the code itself in your mind so that you have, you have to memorize this actually so to crack interviews very quickly so this is uh, my recommendation so hope uh, this helps uh, helps you thank you